Hello everybody. Deep fake has become really a matter of big concern to all of you. Big concern to all of you. It has been posing great challenge to the society as well as technology advancement. So how to prevent deep fake cases and deep fake frauds? Let's understand. How to protect protect ourselves from deep fakes? Let's understand. So these are some common, you know, methods in by which we can prevent ourselves. These are the best practices. We can use anti-fake technology, anti-faking technology, using same deep learning model. Then training and appropriate training and awareness can be created amongst employees, individuals, and users of different types of social media and other platforms where there is risk involved for deep fake. Enforce robust security protocols. We can use robust security protocols. And also we can explore the use of blockchain. Blockchain technology can be used to, uh, you know, to prevent the uh, deep fake fraud cases and we can also develop new security standards to meet with the requirements so that we can prevent the cases. So let's understand each one of them to some, you know, with some details. As far as deep fake technology is concerned, we may also use same deep learning to make deep fakes to detect the evidence that a video or a picture has been tampered with. So let's use the same technology so that we can detect that this picture and video has been created and has been tampered with. We can also use watermarking to detect the manipulation or tampering if it is done with video or picture. For example, there is a cryptographic device called as Amber Authenticate. This can produce hashes at predetermined intervals throughout a movie or video. If the video is changed, the hashes will change, alerting the user that will alert the user that material, that is media, has been tempered. Training and awareness is of course an important thing. Enterprises, industries can build additional layers of defense and enough training and increased awareness can be created among all the users and employees who are working. Employees should be made available, should be made identify to identify deep fake through training that emphasizes how technology is utilized in hostile actions and how to detect it. Employees will be better at recognizing deep fakes if they are educated about security threats and preventive strategies. So the proper education, training and awareness is very much needed. Robust security protocols can be used at the different level, at the feature level, at training level. And we can inform employees and family members how about how deep fake works and the difficulties it can cause. Teach yourself and others how to recognize the deep fake and ensure that you are a media savvy and use high quality news sources. So do not simply trust blindly that the media which is created is genuine. Blockchain is the technology that can help uh, you know, uh, as a decentralized system, it can allow users to store information online without use of centralized servers. Blockchains are resistant to a wide range of security and vulnerabilities that centralized data storage is susceptible to. Individuals may, for instance, use blockchains to authenticate at individual level. We can use and verify the validity of video or audio document that is personal to them. Zero trust approach has to be there uh, as far as the online content is concerned. Be it users, data devices, traffic or applications. Before we trust anything we see on the internet or social media, we have to adopt a zero trust approach and use caution. We have to, we have to be very careful. This applies to all the stories, posts, images and videos that we see in the social media anywhere. So how can we protect ourselves against deep fakes? I mean, these three are very important. Three, four things are very important. We can limit the number of pictures and videos that we post 
that we share and post in the media. Keep our social media prof profile as a private profile. Secure, uh, uh, you know, online activities with VPN, uh, virtual private network that can, uh, you know, provide some security. Can also protect devices with an antivirus scanner. And then if there is any case where it, it seems that the fake has been created, we can reach out to the authorities, you know, we can reach out to the uh, authorities telling them that we have a doubt that this media is, you know, we can report to the authority that this media looks uh, as if as, as it has been uh, tempered or it, 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 looks, it looks like a deep fake video, which is not true media, either picture, video or any text kind of media, which is not true. So that can be also reported. So what is needed is, you know, to create private profile, to post as minimum as possible as far as the media is concerned on different platforms. And we have to be very careful uh, and we have to adopt zero trust policy. And if you find such cases, we can also report to the authority and this is how we can, you know, uh, prevent ourselves from the threats and risks uh, of being fixed. Thank you. Hope this will give you some idea that how one can protect or prevent the deepfake cases. Thank you.